What's up everyone and thanks for joining me again this week. Today I want to talk about a behavior in SQL Server that isn't as intuitive as you may think. A long time ago I was working on this application where users were typing in data and the application uh, was then doing comparisons of what these users typed in. I was using SQL Server to do my comparison operations and one day I noticed something strange happen. There were two values in my database that I was comparing and even though I knew they weren't equal to each other because of some extra white space, SQL Server was returning them as equal. And that's what today's video is about. It's the unintuitive way that SQL Server handles trailing white space. So the easiest way to see this in action is by looking at an example. If we start here by declaring a char 10 value that is set equal to A, and we run some functions on it, here I'll run it first and we can take a look at what happens, we can see that the original value, right, is A, and it has a length of one using the length function. But if we do the data length function, the data length function is returning the number of bytes of string data that is within our variable that we pass into it. It's saying it's 10. And the reason for that is, right, is the char data type, as you probably know, adds white space to the end of the value to fill the entire length that you declared that char as. So since we have char 10, it's filling in nine blanks after, or nine spaces rather, after our original A value. And I have that cast as binary at the end there so that you could actually see that those spaces are part of the value, right? So we have 61, which is the letter A in hex, um, but then we have nine more 20s, which are the space values in hexadecimal. If we instead look at a varchar example, you'll see that the behavior is a little different. So here's the same query rewritten just with a varchar data type. And if we go ahead and run it, uh, you'll probably see, right, what you would expect is varchar doesn't pad our values with white space to fill up the whole length, right? It's more space efficient in the way it stores its data. So even though we declare this as varchar 10, it's only going to store a single value, in this case the letter A, and it's not going to add in any extra spaces. Now while you might be familiar with that, there's some interesting interactions that occur when you start using equality operations on these different data types with varying white space in them. So as an example, I set up a select statement using the if function. So it's just basically a you know, syntactic sugar for a case when statement. And we're basically going to compare this char 10 value of a blank, right? So there's nothing there to a var char 10 value of a blank. And we're basically saying, okay, if these two variable values are equal, it's going to output a one. Otherwise it's going to output a zero. So if we run that, we'll notice that it outputs a one. And that's pretty much what we would expect that a blank compared to a blank, even though they're different data types are equal to each other. What is interesting is when we change it up a little bit. So now what's interesting in this example is it's the same thing, right? We're still comparing our char 10 to our var char 10 with our if statement, but now I've added the data length uh, function to actually see how much data is stored. And you'll see that for the char value, right, which is our first data length column, it's actually storing 10 bytes of data, right? Which is even though we set our value to a blank, it's appending 10 spaces to pad that whole 10 length value versus our varchar, which is storing no actual data in it. So here we're already starting to see kind of the, the interesting functionality that SQL Server implements when it's comparing these types of data because uh, the actual data size of these two fields is totally different, but it's saying that the values are equal. Let's look at another example. So in this example, right, I'm, I'm combining everything back to just we're going to be using varchars going forward because the data type difference doesn't matter as much as this kind of trailing white space uh, functionality. So here I have a variable called no space value, which is varchar 10, which is just the blank, and a multi-space value variable, which we have added a few spaces in there. I don't know how many I put, four or five. And if we do our comparison once again with our if statement and take a look at our data lengths, you may see something surprising. Um, while the data length columns indicate those difference in spaces, right? There's, since there's no spaces in our first variable, we get a length of data length of zero. If we uh, look at the second one, we get a four. But the interesting thing is that here SQL Server says that these two values are equal to each other, even though clearly the second variable has more spaces than the first one. The first time I saw this happen in my application, I was astounded because in my mind, right, spaces are characters. Why is this happening? Why is SQL Server saying these are the same? Is this some kind of weird bug or is my code written incorrectly? Did I accidentally refer to the wrong variable? So let's keep exploring this further. 
if we go ahead and now add in some actual characters, right? Because maybe this is only relevant when you're dealing with spaces and blanks. I've changed our no space value, right, to have an A on the front of it. And then we have an A with multiple spaces after in our multiple space value uh, varchar. And if we run this again, you'll see that the results are the same in terms of these two variables are equal to each other, even though the data length of those variables is not the same. Now, what's even more interesting, right, is if we take that same exact example, right, so here it is, right, where our A with no spaces and our A with additional spaces, if all I do is change our equal sign to a like operator, we'll see that SQL Server now says that these two values are not equal. So this really confused me, right, because when using an equal sign, they're equal, but when using like, even though it's doing an equality comparison, they're not equal. Uh, so that just confused me even further. If we, if we go ahead and take this one step further, right, and now instead put our preceding values in front of our letter A in our second variable and run this example, we'll see that SQL Server doesn't say that these values are equal. So when there are trailing white space, uh, SQL Server says, nope, that's okay, our values are equal, but when there's preceding white space, values aren't equal. So there's a lot of interesting edge cases like this, but you're probably wondering to yourself if you've never seen this before, why is SQL Server doing this? Why does it think that values with differences in the number of trailing spaces are equal to each other? And the answer, although maybe not satisfying, is that this is an expected behavior. SQL Server implements the ANSI SQL standard, and as part of that standard, it says that whenever you're doing string comparisons, the length of the shorter string must be uh, added to with blank spaces in order to make it the same length of the other string that you're comparing it to. This string padded is just part of the ANSI standard and since SQL Server implements the ANSI standard, that's what we see. That's exactly why when we add trailing spaces to a value, uh, the value equality operations are equal to each other uh, because SQL Server is making the shorter variable value match the longer one by padding it with spaces. But when we have spaces preceding other character values, we don't have that equality because they're not the same value at that point. SQL Server only pads our values with spaces at the end and not in front. And the reason SQL Server doesn't compare two values the same way using the like operator is that's supposed to be a pattern matching uh, operator. So it follows a different set of rules. So two values with different trailing white spaces are different in the like operator's mind. So how do you go about handling this in your code? What happens if you do wanna perform comparisons where these differences in white spaces are handled in the way that you maybe would expect, right? Where SQL Server doesn't say that these values are equal to each other. So one thing you can do is use the like operator like we saw in that previous example, but it's not really great because you it's, it doesn't really tell you what's happening, right? You would have to be sure to comment it. People might be confused why you're doing comparisons with like without using some percent signs or things like that. Um, so if you do use that solution, just be sure to document it so people know. Another option though is to just incorporate the data length function as part of your predicate. Now this isn't without potential problems, right? But here you can see I added to my original condition of you know where we're just comparing the values directly. We're also gonna compare the data lengths. So since the data lengths of our no space value and our multi-space value are different, we should see that, right, our if statement here returns this as a zero. Now, this isn't perfect for a number of reasons, right? One of which is that if you're putting these predicates into a join or a where clause, um, you're not guaranteed which order SQL Server is going to choose to execute these predicates in. So uh, it may, you know, filter your results down first and then do this data length comparison, which is kind of the best case scenario. But if it decides to scan your whole table calculating data lengths for every row, not using your indexes, um, and then filtering your data, right, you've just made your query non-sargeable and performance will suffer. Uh, so it's not, you know, necessarily guaranteed that you're going to get good performance with this solution. And another potential problem, right, and probably the bigger issue, um, because it will actually give you the wrong answer, is in this case, if we're comparing different data types, so we have varchar versus nvarchar, you'll actually see that even with this data length um, operator here, if we go ahead and run that, you'll see that our values are equal, even though we have an extra space in our varchar value. And so remember that our data length function checks the number of bytes in the value of our string. So in our second variable uh, variables case where it's 
nvarchar. Remember, nvarchar for Unicode support stores each character in a two byte piece of memory. So uh, the length of an nvarchar A character is two bytes, just the same as a varchar A plus a space. Um, so in that case, this data length functionality just totally breaks down. Right, so in conclusion, there's no great answer for this problem. It's one of those things that is just important to be aware of so that you can handle it if you do run into a scenario where you need to make comparisons where white space matters. And hopefully now after watching this video, you won't be like me, right, caught off guard when one of your queries is supposedly not working correctly uh, because you'll understand the ANSI standard that SQL Server implemented and uh, you, you, know, you can think about how you want to implement your code so that it performs the way you want. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not a subscriber yet, please be sure to press that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all my weekly videos so you can continue learning and improving your SQL Server knowledge each and every week. And with that, I'll see you next time. Thanks.